Mama, that man at the door again, and he look like he ain't playing. Welcome to Coach A's Football, WRE Edition. Are you ready? Let, 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 let's get it. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Coach A's Football, the WRE Edition. Today, we are looking at one of Georgia's top commits in defensive tackle, Tyrion Ingram Dawkins. Now, this dude is a big cat. He's 6'5", 300 pounds. He's from Gaffney, South Carolina, and goes to Gaffney High School. This dude ain't playing around. They say he a grown man out there, and guess what? He terrorizing the backfield, so we're going to check him out. But before we do, jump on to CoachAceFootball.com. It is the number one site for players, coaches, and fans, as well as pick up your polo Timmy merch, 10% off right now with the promo code of Timmy10. Okay, also, if you want to nominate a player, jump on the site as well. Go to the Fans tab and hit the player nomination form. Put it in there. If I do your guy, I definitely give you a shout out in the video as well. Now, we're going to jump back to this young man. We're going to check him out and see what he's all about. So, Tyrion, guess what? You about to get WRE, my man. Let's get it. All right, Tyrion, we're going to check you out right now. We're going to see what you all about. You a big dude out here, man. Dog, plus, you the number one ranked player in South Carolina and the number 10 defensive tackle in the country. That's huge right now. We're going to check you out and see if you the real deal or not. So guess what? And I forgot to say this in the intro. If you are a Georgia Bulldog fan, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you are aware of all the latest content that comes out. And we about to check this dude out right now. So let's get to it. All right, here we go, man. Where you at, buddy? All right. Uh, whoa, great job right there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to explain something real quick. Right off the gate, man, something he did that is very hard to teach, especially big guys. He flipped his hips when he made his move. A lot of guys play with parallel shoulders. What does that mean? They keep their shoulders parallel to the line of scrimmage. Watch this. Watch when I stop and he's going to flip his hips. See that right there, that flip, that, that hip flip? Perfect, he just made himself small. Watch him slide right off this guy. This is perfect right here. He engages, I wish he had a little bit more extension on his arms, right? So now when he snatches through on that hip flip, he can definitely uh, take advantage of that and bring that power, man. Look at that, boom. Big 53 didn't even have a chance, dog. Here we go, great move, man. A great way to start off your clip, bro. My man look like he off sides, ain't he? <laughs> uh, good inside slant. Let's go. He can move for a big dude, 300 pounds, 6'5". And he don't look to be a fat boy either, man. Big old dude, bro. Mm, good get off. Bro, he killing him with the inside uh, movement, boy. He killing him. I'm just, these past two or three clips, I'm impressed with his agility and his speed coming off the ball. Such a big dude. Bro, hold up, man. Bro, they're not even trying to block the dude, man. You got a guy pulling, nobody down blocking on him. He just giving up tackles out here. Let's go big 9-3. And I love that number choice. And you try to catch a, a, a fancy number. Got you a number that probably means something to you. So I love it. Hold up, man. What, what is happening? The center the only one know the snap count? Nobody else know the snap. Look at this. Nobody else move. What's this? All these boys still in their stance. Everybody in their stance but the center and this dude. <laughs> this dude didn't even move. He must have snapped the ball early, man. Well, guess what, big 9-3? Take advantage of it, baby. Let's go. This team right here ain't looking too hot, boy. These boys in this white and blue ain't looking too hot, dog. <laughs> Let's go, big man. Again. He did a great job with his hips, flipped his hips, got through there. Come on, get that hand off that knee. Get that hand off that knee. I might have let him keep his hand on his knee with that kind of explosion. God, dog. He killing him, man. Come on, you got to get that hand. You got to be ready to fight, man. Huh, 61 tried, but he ain't try hard enough. Cause 9-3 killing it right now. He got a great inside move. 
Great inside move. Only thing I wish he'd do is use his hands some more. He just bodying his way through. Right there, perfect job on his hands. Great job. Let's see what else we got here. Where you at, dog? Look like you at the nose, okay. Maybe a one technique. Huh. No, that's not you. I'm sorry. My bad, hold on, I'm looking at the wrong dude. I'm sorry, hold on, let me go back. Oh, there you go. Uh, good way to come off. Let's go. I was looking at your homeboy, 33, getting hemmed up over there. My bad. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, he just, he just much better than his opponents, man. This dude is so much bigger. He probably is already instilled feeling them guys even when he got off the bus. He probably the talk of the town and them dudes just scared, man. Cause they, no, you got it. So, so here's the deal. Let me just say something right quick. I'm gonna let that play. Y'all can listen and watch at the same time. Here's my thing, right? When you, when you, <laughs> I can't look at it cause I'm gonna keep stopping. When you playing guys that got this kind of hype as a coach and I'm not here to knock any other coaching, you still gotta give your guys some help. You can't one-on-one -on -one block this dude. You, you just can't because he's too dominant, right? You got it like this. This is a prime example. Come on, man. Like, we pulling. So I just saw these guys pull. But there's no down block from the center. So you basically just letting him walk through. This dude is pulling. Look like maybe some type of outside zone deal. But the blocking scheme is bad because he's going this way to get him. He's pulling here. Nobody's blocking the baddest dude on the field. The number one player in the state of South Carolina and nobody blocking him. What you think finna happen? Come on, guys. Look. Come on. We gotta give our kids a chance out here sometimes, guys. I don't care if you don't block somebody else, but you better block the number one player in the state. That's what I know you better do. Huh. I tried to cut him. That didn't work. <laughs> you gotta do something, man. It's a bad dude right here, boy. This is a big old dude, man. Let's go. This is what I want to see. Go get a big 9-3. Great way to pursue to the ball from the interior lineman spot. I'm loving it, bro. I'm loving it. You don't usually see that kind of commitment from the interior guys, man. Great job by you. okay I, i'm gonna tell you the only thing i see i mean he, he pretty much is a complete guy especially with the competition he's playing and here's where that becomes a curse when you play bigger guys like this i mean when you're a bigger guy and you play what appears to be lesser competition you have a tendency to to uh lose some of your fundamentals and techniques sometimes just because you can be wrong and still be right at the same time um one thing I wish he would do a little more is use more hands, right, with it instead of all that brute strength all the time. Sometimes he wants to power through those guys. Use your hands, even on run blocking. Extend your hand, press a guy out. I haven't seen him press a guy out just yet, uh, even on the run block, because they spend a lot, of, like right here. See, this is a prime example of what I'm talking about. Let me go back, this is perfect. All right, right here. See how he buries himself into these guys? He doesn't jar them. He doesn't push them out, get the extension, so now he can control them. So what he's doing is burying himself into these guys, and that's because he's much bigger and he can fight off and make a play. And that's what I was talking about. Sometimes you lose on your fundamentals and techniques when you're just a better athlete than your opponent. You know, they punching him all in the head and everything. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, 9-3. But that boy got old, everybody dapping him up, fixing his shoulder pad. He the man, boy. I can tell you that. Uh, see that? He took a shot right there, but guess what? He disrupted that entire play, man. He's got a great get off. He's explosive, especially on that inside movement. Boom. There we go. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. Now watch, what, watch how he controls this guy when he gets him and extends him out. Boom, boom, look at that. This dude is all off whack. 
He jarred him, pushed him back. Now you about to snatch him off. Now you in control. Great job right there, Tyrion. Great job. Just, just oh, there we go. Great. That's the, that should be about your second clip. Let's go. Yeah, see, you got to get off and tear him up, make your move on him, get to the ball. Yeah, see, they don't even want to block you, man. Number 50 shouldn't even, he, he, listen, there's no way in the world 50 should even be on the same field with you. So technically, look, he don't want to block you. So I know you try to use your stump, but that's where you got to use your hands some more, okay? You got to be able to chop those guys down. You won't be able to just power through them sometimes, all right? Let me check this out a little bit more, and then we're going to get into the pros and cons of your game. Let's see what this next clip looking like. Huh, let's go. That's a prime example of what I'm talking about powering through. I'm going to use this last coaching tip, and then we get to the pros and cons of your game. You're going to make an inside move here, but you're not going to use that right arm to chop down his arm when he's trying to hold you. You just power through him, and that's where you got to start using some more technique with it. Watch. See how you just dropped that shoulder and just went on through there? A better offensive lineman, he's going to drive you straight through this man and tear you up, okay? So you'll learn that definitely when you get between the edges. You'll definitely learn that, man, when you get to Athens. And them guys will definitely teach you that, man. So, with all that being said, let me finish that out. Great job. All right, perfect, man. Listen, let me get into the pros of your game. One, you're a huge dude. You're a big dude. You're very athletic looking. And you're very agile for a guy that's 6'5", 300 pounds, man. So, you have all the tools in your toolbox to be super successful. All right? Two, you have a relentless pressure and, 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 and uh, uh, attitude towards the game. You know how to get after the ball. I see you do that, okay? And then third, all right, is that you are a strong guy, okay? That is your gift. Now, let me flip that to your curse right now. Because you are so strong, this is the cons, because you are so strong right now, and you're, like I said earlier, your opponents may not be up to par. You know, I don't want to kind of put them down, but they may not be up to your level. You're just running over them. OK, so therefore now your strength has become your curse because you don't have to use your fundamentals, technique, hand drills, all of those type of things in order to be successful. So that's something that you definitely need to make sure you work on. I want to see more of it. You did it in the past game, but you can also do it in the run game. OK, other than that, man, I know you're going to be dominant when it comes to Georgia football. You're going to do a great job. And guess what, man? I can't wait to see you. I'll definitely be following you, your career. All right? Do me a favor right quick before we get out of here. Jump on to CoachHaysFootball.com. Check out the Polo Timmy merch. All right? As well as, if you want to nominate a player, like I said, go on the Fans tab. Put it on the form. Put it there, and I'll definitely give you a shout-out. Other than that, if you are a Bulldogs fan, let me get a go, dogs, while you're hitting that subscribe button and notification bell so you are aware of all the latest content that comes out on this channel. And Coach Hayes going to holler at you.